What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of How to TIG Weld, Sorta. The YouTube series from a guy that's not an expert trying to give you a couple TIG welding nuggets. Today we're going to talk about TIG welding torches. If you've heard a little of the lingo around TIG welding, you've probably heard you know, number 17 torch, number 9 torch, number 20 torch. What does that mean? What does it look like? What does it do? How many amps is it rated to? Well, I'm gonna explain all that to you in this episode. All right, so a TIG welding torch is half half of what you need, besides the welder, half of what you need to get some nice TIG welds done. So you have a TIG torch in one hand and you have filler rod in the other hand. And those two things together are how you weld whatever it is you need together. Well, most of the time. Sometimes you don't need filler rod, but that's for a later episode. So this here is a number 20 torch. This is what I use on my Everlast machine. It is water cooled. And as you can see, it's got a handle. Some of them have a finger trigger. Inside it's got a collet. Um, this particular one has a gas lens and some tungsten inside. So in order to compare these, let's go over to the bench. I'll give you a close up view and we can kind of break these apart. All right, so the idea behind this entire series is to try to give you small bite-sized nuggets, kind of to get you in the TIG welding game. There's a lot of channels out there that give you tons and tons of valuable information on TIG welding, but in my opinion, a lot of them are probably a little overwhelming. So today, we're just gonna talk TIG torches. I'm gonna give you the Cliff Notes version, according to me, of uh, how these things size out and what they're used for, what they're good for, what they're not good for, and maybe at the end of this, you'll have a better understanding of TIG torch size. Okay, so we're gonna start off. This is uh, this is probably what most TIG welders come with. This is a number 17 torch here. It is probably what I would consider your standard size torch. Um, most of them got a flex head to them. Now, they're not gonna come with what you see here. This is what they call a gas lens diffuser. Uh, I'll go into that in great detail in another episode. I will kind of touch on it a little bit in this episode. But for now, basically I have gas lens diffusers on all these so they look the same. I put a, you know the similar cup on all of these so they look the same. They don't kind of throw you off from what we're actually looking at. And that is the torch head itself here. So this is number 17. This is an air cooled torch. So there's no water or anything traveling through this to cool it off. It's basically just cooled by air. Uh, this particular torch is rated to about 150 amps. And like I said, this is what you usually get when you buy a TIG welder and you just get a basic torch with it. This is probably what you're gonna get, a number 17 torch. Now, the water-cooled brother to this torch is the number 18 torch. Same configuration, same size. It is water cooled, so it has water that actually runs through the torch head itself, cools everything down, then runs back to a cooler. The number 18 water cooled torch head is good to, I think it's rated to like 350 amps. So it can definitely uh, take more amperage. Now, this is a 17 air cooled. They say it's rated to 150 amps. I have used this up to 200 amps, no issues, but I think if you're doing any long runs of TIG welding, you, you don't really want to stretch it much more than 150 amps. Um, you know, depending on the duty cycle of your machine, that may, may not be an issue. The machine itself may protect the torch because it just doesn't have the duty cycle to burn up one of these. All right, so there's your standard number 17 torch and the Brother 18 torch that is water cooled. Moving on, what I would consider the second most popular torch on the market or widely used, I guess, is the number nine torch. So this is just a smaller version of the 17. It is also air cooled. You can see the size difference. It's much smaller, it's much lighter feeling. 
I would equate it to like writing with a pencil versus with one of the big fat Sharpie markers while you're TIG welding. That's kind of the feel you get. This one has a lot more precision. It feels smaller in your hands. You feel, uh, feels lighter, feels easier to maneuver. It just feels better in my opinion. Other than the size, basically the same thing. Both air cooled. Like I said, this is the number nine. So the number nine air-cooled torch is rated to 125 amps, I think. Obviously, you could probably push a little higher than that, but that is the rating on this torch here at 125 amps. You're, you're pretty much maxing out the uh, torch head on this thing. And that is the one advantage, I guess, the 17 has over the nine. So the nine's smaller to me. It's a much better torch. It feels better in your hand. Probably gives you more precision. But this torch here, if you're just going air-cooled, can handle a lot more amperage. Well, I say a lot more, 25 more amps. So you're talking 150 versus 125. Now, like the 18 is the brother, the water-cooled brother of the 17, the 20 is the water-cooled brother of the nine. So this is the 20 torch here. Basically the same thing. These are both the torches that I use on my Everlast machine. Obviously the 20 gets more use. You can see that the number nine is still nice and pristine. The number 20 water-cooled torch is rated to 250 amps versus the 125 that the number nine is. So the water-cooled, just the water-cooled by itself makes a big difference. And like I said on the number 18, the water just travels up through the head, cools all that off and back to the tank. I will tell you this, this one here is rated 125 amps. This without water, is not rated to 20, 125 amps. Uh, this is not air cooled and so you will burn one of these up if you don't use water with it or if you fail to turn on your water cooler. Just telling you, I know from experience. All right, so just to recap, you got your 17. It's probably pretty much your standard torch that comes on uh, almost every TIG machine you'd buy. You have the 18, which is the water cooled brother of the 17, looks just like this. You have the Number nine torch, which is basically just a smaller version of the 17, is also air-cooled. Then you have the number 20 torch, which is the brother, the water-cooled brother of the number nine. Hope that all makes sense. Hope I didn't confuse anybody. All right, guys, there you go. How to weld, sort of, TIG torch episode. Hope there was a nugget in there for you. Hope maybe I could teach you a little bit of something that you didn't already know. And, uh, Hope to see you back on episode number three. That's all I got for you. Go do work, son.